There's nothing quite as devastating as the rumor of a rodent problem in a restaurant. Hi, my name is James with Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division. Keep watching for more tips on how to prevent one. Crumbs. Sounds silly, but it's often an issue left in the front of the house, underneath tables, on the booths, on top of the tables even. It's imperative you are checking out your staff every night to make sure they're doing their duties and cleaning their stations properly. This includes the side stations as well. Even the smallest crumb of food will keep those rats coming back. Crumbs. Sounds silly, but it's often an issue left in the front of the house, underneath tables, on the booths, on top of the tables even. It's imperative you are checking out your staff every night to make sure they're doing their duties and cleaning their stations properly. This includes the side stations as well. Even the smallest crumb of food will keep those rats coming back. If you own a restaurant, more than likely you've got checklists. Whether you use them or not, it depends on you. Your daily routine is pretty straightforward, or should be. You come into your business, you check out the crew from the night before, make sure you have stock of everything, and you've got a plan for the day for prepping and getting ready to open. Checklists are key. You need one to open your restaurant every morning. Even if you don't have a rodent problem, you need to know that the prep crew and the line cooks and the front of the house staff are doing their jobs at the end of the night, and your managers, which you pay well, are doing their jobs by double checking the process. Checklists are key. Routines are key, whether you have rodents in your restaurant or not. Have any questions or need help, call or text me at the number below. I'll get back to you quickly and I'll discreetly solve your problem.